Going into season number 15, my Glory Hunter cabinet is just three trophies away from completion, with this season's target, the Scudetto. Dad, on the other hand, still has six trophies remaining, with the DFP Pacal and the UEFA Cup being the target set. And he started the summer bringing in Europe's number one striker target for most clubs, Dario Orlando of Torino, a 6'3 Italian 21 year old, as well as trying to bring in some very recognizable players who have yet to lead their home nations, such as Arthur, Sammy Laconga, and Darwin Nunez. Hilariously, though, Laconga rejected him, going to Arsenal. I had decided, however, with my very small budget this season to sell my wingers and adopt a more narrow formation. Trying to encapsulate a narrow 4 3 3 and really go for the lead title this season with all out attack. And I have found the perfect attacking centre midfielder who I believe could help me achieve this season's goal from Finland and currently at Portsmouth. However, that player shocked us all once I offered him a contract. Turning me down, a multiple Champions League winning manager to stay at Pompey and to stay playing under Billy Davies at a relegation scrapping side in the Premier League. Have it your way, kid. My backup plan is to go through Coutinho who is at Inter Milan, which will also weaken their team. Who, funny enough, I ended up playing against in the first game of the season, and it was a very one-sided match, where they mounted just one shot on goal all game. Dad, I think you possibly found a, the bargain of the series so far, maybe. Oh, 100%. 21 years of age, £57 million. Pound. He looks incredible. Yeah. So Great really, striker. Really, I mean, from last season, we know... Uh, uh, I didn't score enough goals. Yeah. So straight out, got myself an A1 striker, I think. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's for that price. Not really got a weakness either. He's 6'3 no. as well, so he's good in the air with his seven, 17 jump and reach. Decent with both feet, comes deep to get to the ball. He tries first time shots, so he's an all rounder. Yeah. Can't argue with that one. Fantastic signing so far. As well, wouldn't it? Yeah. Say, yeah. Uh, you didn't actually sell that many players. Only £14 million went out. Well, with the budget I had, I didn't have to sell players to get the money in that I needed. No. So I thought, right, don't don't sell a load of players like I normally do to get a load of money. Let's keep a big squad in there, strong squad. That's what yeah. I'm trying to do. So I'm just building on it more than anything. And instead, you just found loads of bargains. Yeah. I mean, Darwin Nunez hasn't moved from Uruguay yet. What a pickup. Eight million. Yeah, eight million <laughs> pound as like a backup striker for yeah. you in Barator. Arthur, again, hasn't moved from Brazil. He's 25 now. And yeah, he's fantastic. Can strengthen him on midfield a bit more. Four million yeah and then Chris Guito a bit of a veteran at Juve for 19 million I know he's a bit pound. of a veteran but at the end of the day if you look up what he what he can do and you know how good he is I mean his natural fitness is still 19 yeah to sit next to Ramos or just be a reserve right across the back three yeah what more could I ask for really not bad just strength of the squad again yeah and that was because you did change the tactic and I will say I changed mine first <laughs> because you're gonna look at dad's He's gone for a 4-3-3 narrow formation. You've got an anchor in there, a centre midfield on attack, uh, and those are specific because the likes of Arthur and James Rodriguez pops into this role very nicely and becomes yeah. like a fourth attacking threat, really. Yeah. Not bad. And I've got Trent Alexander on the outside just bombing down the wing as well. Yeah. And with a Victor up there as well. Yeah, Victor Osman, awesome, of course, still what a there. What strike force that is now, isn't it? So is Barata. I'm Off like, the bench, you've got Cristiano that's Ronaldo. That's the thing, isn't it? Cristiano can't even get in the team. And yeah. I, and I aimed and am about letting him go, uh, but he hasn't complained to me, so no. I didn't, like I said, I didn't sell anybody, just kept all the squad there, so I got a, what I class now is probably one of my best squads I've ever had. Okay. And you've got one goal. Yeah. That's to win the DFB Pacal. That's right, yeah. Uh, but let's see how you started. You had a round one, and you won it. 9-0! <laughs> Scraping through. <laughs> In that played fixture. my strongest side. <laughs> yeah, you did actually. You made sure you played the strongest team in that game. Yeah. Uh, you beat Werder Bremen 2-1 at the start of the season. Of course, they're usually your title contenders. Yeah. Bochum 5-2, Leverkusen 3-2, and Dortmund 2-1. It was good results there, despite them those two being quite close. Yeah, still, a good, uh, still winning those, so that's the main thing. And at the end of the day, you're not really worried about the league. No. You just got to save your job like you careful. did last I year. Say, I've got to be careful because I can't be... They, they will get rid of me because they're watching yeah. me now. And yeah. If anything, you kind of need to win the league, yeah. but it's not a priority in no. your regards of the Glory Hunter. Uh, your Champions League, Dill. I can't see you dropping out of the Champions League into UEFA Cup there. No. Barcelona, and, and Lons if, and if I did, I'd, I'd, With them watching me, they, they're not going to be wanting to be knocked out of that. <laughs> oh, are they? that's so the point. Yeah. Let's look at that and think, well, I'm definitely free. But yeah. I shouldn't. I mean, I'd be pushing for first, to be honest with you. 
Yeah, yeah, and absolutely. Yeah. A good side, but I've got a really good side. Yeah, yeah. And Pan Manuel Pellegrini's still there. The likes of Gavi started to come through the team yeah. now, so that shows how far along we actually are. He's 17 year old Gavi, and I think he's only 19 or 18, 19 <laughs> in real life. So we are very close to modern day now. Yeah. Uh, but let's have a look to see what I've done with my Lazio side so far across the window. Uh, now, I was a bit disappointed not to get the midfielder that I really wanted to go for, but I ended up going for Coutinho, and in a way, I weakened a a, a team around me he's a very good center midfield and i kind of like that attack format that's the reason why i got him in i wanted to find the player that gets forward whenever possible turns out he also likes to beat the offside trap so he might be making some really deep runs from yeah. midfield and bringing him in for 51 million pounds i think is, is is a good move uh off the back of obviously last year bringing in blaze matuidi and torreira who are more like defensive sided uh, midfield so I think that was a good move I actually sold Jack Grealish for 31 million pound to Real Madrid didn't get into my team last year so it made sense to and then I realized I don't have any backups for my fullback so Angelino from Real Madrid 24 now uh, at left back I thought that was a bit of a bargain because he's only a backup for £19 million and pretty much the same price for Hector Bellerin, who was at Stuttgart. Uh, maybe not as good on the ball because his passing is only 9, but going forward, yeah, he should be all right with a crossing ability of 14 uh, and some very good mental attributes on him as well. So, a low price. As I said, I changed my tactic first. It looks like this. Just ever so slightly different, really. I've got... The one dropping off in the middle. You've got the one in the middle up front. These yeah. two dropping off instead. And we've got sent midfield on the left with Mazala. You've got that the other way around. Yeah. But you've got an anchor <laughs> in there and I've got a deep blind playmaker. Uh, so that's the tactic that I'm going to try and run this season. Blaze Matuidi fits in there quite nicely. Yeah, uh, I think my only real weakness now is my goalkeeper. I can't find a good goal goalkeeper for love, no money. He's 37. He's still good enough, to be yeah. fair. I mean, for age 37, he's, he's, he's still handy. But yeah, we'll take it anyway. And schedule, it looks like this. I have also won a lot of games. Inter Milan, 6-0. Missing Coutinho, are you boys? <laughs> Napoli, 6-2. They never really quite as good as the Napoli that we knew and loved. Uh, and Fiorentina, 5-1. That's a very good result, too. Yeah. Uh, my Champions League group might go on and win it again. Who knows? Uh, <laughs> PSV, Porto, and Shaka. I should definitely go through. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. So there we go. Holders of Manchester City. I'm coming for you. And it's being played at the Camp Nou this season. So who knows? Might have to get and face Barcelona in the final after they knock you out the group stage. <laughs> <laughs> but I have one task in mind, and that is to win the Serie A. I'm already en route to do that, but those pesky AC Milan boys held by Louis van Gaal are still there and still very good. And they've signed a player that I've been looking at for a while. Well, actually, they signed him uh, a while ago, but he is absolutely incredible. And they spent £80 million this season as well. They brought in James Madison of all players. So they mean business still. Good player he is. Naming business, uh, they actually bought him from Tottenham too. So yeah. he had actually gone to Tottenham during yeah. the save, which <laughs> I still find bizarre when that happens. But it's a great start to the season. Let's see if it continues. Dad's threat to his job last season was enough for his Bayern Munich side to really kick on in the Bundesliga this season. And by the new year, they were already seven points ahead after only losing one game. They had sailed through the two rounds of the DFB Pokal 2 and into the quarterfinals, where they will face a tough draw though against Bayer Leverkusen. It was in the Champions League though where it was all going wrong for Bayern Munich, because after six games they drop out of the competition, but it's good news for Dad because they go into the UEFA Cup. Meanwhile in Italy, my Lazio side were playing the most attractive attacking football in Europe and the strike force just seemed to gel together and feed off each other with an obscene amount of goals between them. And although I had lost three games this season, I was six points clear of Napoli in second, 12 points ahead of champions Juventus and had a plus 56 goal difference after just 19 games. But once again, it's bad news for Dad for the DFP Pokal. As this Bayern Munich side crashed out of the quarterfinals, losing 1-0 to Bayer Leverkusen. I also started to go on a bad run of games into the new year and even lost the Juventus, who started to mount a push for that title again, closing the gap down to just four points with 11 games to go. Good news for Dad, though. He progresses through to the UEFA Cup quarterfinal, but he's got to face Bayer Leverkusen again, who had already knocked him out of the DFP Pokal. And after drawing the first leg at 
at home, 1-1, there was a worry he would fail again. However, down strike force of Osman and Orlando was too lethal this time round, and they won the second leg 4-1. Next up, smashing Zaragoza 3-1 in the semi-final first leg. But if by minute was to reach the final, it would be an Italian side who would meet them there. The second leg was no different as he won that one 3-1 also, progressing to the final. To face Sampdoria in Cardiff. The stage was set and the lineups are in, and this could be make or break for the challenge. Win and Dad puts pressure on picking up the hardest trophy to achieve. Lose, and with my strong season in Italy, it could be curtains. Things took off very early when Dad's Munich side put the Sampdoria defence under immense pressure to make a mistake, and it's 1-0 already. Swiftly followed by a reply from a very well-taken Italian corner, though. Ten minutes later, and the game is turned around completely as Sampdoria managed to take the lead. Yet again, a very fast response, this time from Dad's Bayern Munich side, and Dario leaps high to smash the ball into the net. It's 2-2. Second half and Victor Osman is played down the wing and his cross is met by Dan's Italian striker's head again and it's 3-2. However, in the 88th minute, Sampdoria carve open the Munich defence and equalise, sending us into extra time. Where well, one goal was scored and it was a hat-trick goal, all by the head of Dario Orlando. And it's over, Dad and his Bayern Munich side have finally conquered the UEFA Cup and can add that to his glory hunter cabinet. Well, congratulations, Dad. Well, I'm... <laughs> I got it in one way, big surprise in another way, but I am over the moon. I mean, what a mixed emotions <laughs> oh, man, of a season that it. was. I couldn't believe it. I mean, out of I'm, the Champions League, you're like, yeah. uh oh, I'm, out of the cup, oh no, disaster season. When I got knocked out of the Champions League, I thought, oh, I'm, I'm, that's me gone. Yeah, yeah. Um, Especially without the cup oh, and out of, early and as I well. I just thought, well, that's my season finished, really. But obviously, we've been knocked out of the Champions League, it's put me into this, and I'm thinking, could I? Will I? Oh man, it's just this is probably about the luckiest thing that could have happened to me in this challenge so far. Yeah, this is what you needed. Oh, 100 percent I mean, if you had won the DFB Bacal on top of that, I'd be going, uh oh. Yeah. Because you'd only have a couple of places to go yeah, left. That's right, yeah. But luckily for me, a lifeline, mm. you still got that place yeah, to go. Yeah, this was the biggest one. This was gonna be my hardest one. I mean, it's proved that I've been in three finals now. Yeah. So yeah. I have three or four finals, isn't it? And lost them all, so in extra oh, time as well. I mean on. Dario Lander, we oh. mentioned a bargain pickup. And my what God, is he even, how much are these increase in just the, in the, the season that you've what played? What a boy that was for me. But a hat trick in the final. Um, and mate, the winner in the 117. What a hat trick it was as well. Headers. What headers he, all three headers. Especially the first two, I thought were absolutely amazing headers. The first one really knocked it right down as well. Oh, yeah. What a well, player. There we go. Congratulations. I'm, 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 I am over the moon, but I'm gutted that I've lost that cup again. Yeah. Early so, as well. Quarter final yeah. exit. By Bayer Leverkusen. I mean, I should be playing my strongest sides because early on he always he always sort of drops it, your best players and plays it, and that's why you've got to get a good squad really, isn't it? So he's playing strong players again still, but when it gets to that sort of stage, oh, you should be playing your strongest side all the time. Yeah. Then. So um, walk the I'm, league though. Yeah. I'm Eighty-six to that again. points to seventy-four. Yeah. Completely no problems walk there the again. League. So I should be right job boys. They shouldn't be after one. Yeah. After one neck this time. So. I mean, Orlando was second to goal scorer, only to Osman there, but he did have the highest average rating and the most yeah. player of the matches, who so probably kind of got like the MVP of the season, uh, that type of thing. But yeah, well, well done. You still got to stay oh. in Germany, though, because of that DFB Pokal. Um, My favourite trophy haunting yeah. you, and I love it. Lovely stuff. Where it goes, in it? But I'm going to take this season. I am absolutely over the moon with it. Yeah. You don't really need to do anything to this team, no, to I be don't. honest. You've got a couple of retiring players, Mertesacker, Schweinsteiger, and I think uh, Chris Gito is like 35 I mean, the good, now. The good thing about it is I've already had, I've already bought in replacements for them three play, players yeah. anyway, so it's not a Just sort of, fill in that squad. Yeah, up. I'm just going to strengthen the squad again. I'm You've got like, 92 million. I might have to just tweak it and make it a little bit more defensive. Was I two attacking? Two just, attacking for a, a cup. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about yeah. now. So I think it's just fill the... Make it a little bit more reserved and then just fill the spaces that I know I could sort of like strengthen but make it a little bit harder for when he does rotate the squad, it's still a strong squad defensive boy, yeah. I think. Yeah. That's what I'm looking for, really. Yeah. But what is a mystery is how I did in Italy. Did I do it? Well Yes! By nine points, I won the Syria! That's why, Ahead I, of you, that's why I had to get out of Germany that, that season, really. AC Milan dropped off huge. Yeah, didn't they just? Down to 74. I mean, he's still there. Yeah. But... I took Christian Ronaldo with him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And there's still one game to play left, too. Yeah. 
and I am still the champions. We've come back right after Dad's fixture, but I've already won the league. I won it. I've got nine. I'm nine points ahead with a game I mean, left. At, did you see a goal difference? Yeah, incredible, really. Oh. 85, and then I mean, Lukaku somehow got 25, and I'm not a top goal scorer. <laughs> no. uh, Martinez got 23, Villa got 21, and Mbappe got 20. The three right behind. The average ratings. I completely dominated that, and and Vittorio Villa is just mustard absolute mustard so a fantastic season did it get any better Good. copper italia winners too against juve in the final so i will leave lazio after completing the double and winning so a couple plays, of champions you play a very well. attacking side look and you wins both mm. i'll play a very attacking side <laughs> knocked out of the champions league by Sevilla though yeah my old team coming to bite me again they don't like me, do they? 5-4 <laughs> on aggregate there, knocking me out. Uh, Lons, who knocked you out of the group stage, by the way. We'll have to look at my group stage. How knocked out by Arsenal. I mean, I'm, I'm chuffed a bit that I did get knocked out, but how the hell did I get knocked out of that? Yeah, uh, well, you finished on 10 points, but you lost to Lons at home. That's the big kicker right oh, there. I bet, you, I bet I nearly got sacked then. Yeah, because you didn't you didn't even beat them away from home. They <laughs> obviously they only lost oh, to Barcelona. They've done me such a big favour. So they though. yeah they've uh, yeah in a way they've really helped you yeah. to be fair. Jean Pierre Papin was well, the uh, manager. So well, mate. can't argue with that. Now goals wise for my team 27, 26, 25. There was a race and Latauro Martinez managed to win that race. Uh, but it will be time for me to go. And is there any jobs in the Premier League available? Well, we are still quite early on. No jobs might not have come up just yet. As we can see, there isn't. So I will be leaving Lazio at the end of the season with one destination to go. But there's a couple Brandy. of trophies to add to our Glory Hunter cabinets. Let's have a look at them. Yes, I made sure I built a fantastic Lazio team to lift the Scudetto this season, leaving me with just two trophies to go in England. But it was still a successful season despite not completing Germany for Dad, as he picks up the hardest trophy to capture as we head to season number 16.